In this video, we're going to learn a super simple React global state management system using hooks. I'm going to show examples for both a React.js website and also a React Native or Expo app. What we're going to be learning about today is called global state. To create global state, basically wherever you put your navigation, first you'll put your hook variables and then you'll create what's called a global state object. And then we'll be passing that global state object down into our components. So let's first, we'll go ahead and create our hook variables. To create a variable uh, that you want to manage using use state, this use state prop, you would say const brackets. The first value in the brackets is the name of the variable. So I'll just say var1, for example. The way you update state with hooks is you would put a comma here. This next value is the name of the function you want to use to update your state. So you could say set var1. And then you would say equals use state. And this is a function that you'll need to trigger Within the function, you say what kind of state you would like this to be, whether it's a string or an array or an object or a number, whatever data type you want it to be. I'll just say an array for this first one. I'll create a few more variables. So I'll switch this to two, var three, var four. The second one, I'll just say it's a string. Third one, a number. Fourth one, an object. So from there, you would create a global state object. So you would just say const global state equals an object. And then from there, you just copy these variable names into the global state object. So we'll go ahead and I'll just copy each of them. Make sure to put a comma at the end. Just copy all of these into global state. All right. And then from there, you just copy this global state, go down to your components. So for example, your home screen, your login screen, whatever screens you have, in each of the screens, just paste that name global state equals global state. And then you can just pass this down to all of your pages. All of your pages will have access to this these global uh, variables that you'll want to be available on all the pages in your app. I'll show what that looks like real quick in a React Native app too. So say you're using... Uh, react navigation and the screen should look like this uh, it looks a little bit different than the, the normal documentation you'll need to have it uh, just like this i won't go into too much detail uh, if you'd like there's a video that should pop up on the screen um, it'll walk you through exactly how to do this there's a chapter titled uh, react navigation in that video that you can watch uh, but i'll just show you uh, so here you could put the same hook values uh, in your navigation screen, and then pass down global state as a prop this way into a React Native app as well. And now I'll show you how to access these variables in one of your pages. So I'll go to the, the home component, the home page, and the way you would access it is in uh, the function, you would put an object, just say global state. And then from there, you can deconstruct whatever values you specifically want. So maybe I want a variable one and variable three, but not all four. Uh, I'll say const uh, var one, and also say I want to be able to set var one. So I'll say set var one, uh, var three. And maybe I don't want to be able to set var three. So I'll just say var three uh, equals global state. So from then on, you can now access everything that you saved in your navigation screen, wherever that is. All these hook state variables and functions that update the variables, they're now accessible on all the screens. And in each screen, you can just deconstruct the specific variables that you want access to. And it really is that simple. That's how global state works. If you have any questions about global state, please post your questions in the comments below. If you like the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.